Hello, my friends. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website. And there is huge news from Squarespace. Squarespace has now launched the all-new Squarespace 7. Squarespace was awesome. Now it's really fucking awesome. Squarespace 7 refines all the powerful features from Squarespace 6 into one seamless experience. Squarespace has simplified the whole website making process, and it was simple already. They, you can add content and customize your design all in one window. Your website will look exactly how you arrange it. Squarespace is a fantastic way to create your own website with simple drag and drop, easy to use uh, tools, a simple interface, 24-7 support. They partner with Google to make it easier to manage everything in one platform. Setup is completely painless, and it's all done for you when you set up your Squarespace account. Use the professional photos of Getty Images to offer professional stock photography that ordinarily cost hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars per image but is available for you for just $10 an image to Squarespace customers. They have over 40 million images. Squarespace has updated their note and blog apps to work seamlessly from your computer and your Android device um, to your Android device. This is also big news for Android users who uh, need to update their blog or take notes on the go. Beautiful design, drag and drop content, and again, 24-7 support. Uh, plans start at just $8 a month, and that includes a free domain name if you sign up for a year. Responsive design, and your site will look awesome on any device. You can also set up a simple e-commerce site. Every site comes with an online store. And for a free trial and 10% off your purchase, go to squarespace.com and enter in the code word JOE. That's Squarespace. Dot com. Enter the code word Joe Squarespace. A better web starts with your website. And we're also having a website contest with Squarespace. When you're done with your website, tweet your new website to hashtag JRE Squarespace. That's hashtag JRE Squarespace. I will pick one winner each month through the end of the year, and the winners will receive a free year of the Squarespace business level plan. So that's squarespace.com. Enter in the code word Joe. When you're done with your website, tweet the website to hashtag JRE Squarespace. We're also brought to you by LegalZoom, and LegalZoom is a fantastic way for you to handle a lot of shit that you would ordinarily have to go to an actual law office to deal with. LegalZoom provides you with the ability to take care of things like personalized wills, power of attorney, living trust. For over 10 years, LegalZoom has helped protect your assets with LLCs, S-corporations, trademarks, real estate documents, and more, all done from the comfort of your own home. It used to be that you would have to get in an actual physical car like a like either your own car or a like a bus or a, a train or something and you'd have to go over to a fucking lawyer's office and pay them a shitload of money and it would take a long time it would be a huge pain in the ass you don't have to do that anymore you can handle a lot of legal stuff from the comfort of your own home you could be drunk you could be dressed like a woman if you're a man you could be dressed like a man if you're a woman you could be wearing a fucking superman outfit on and a diaper nobody could say shit to you you could do whatever the fuck you want Okay, this is America. The service was developed by some of the best legal minds in the country, and they make it painless for you to get the legal protection that you need. Call or visit LegalZoom, and they'll take care of you from start to finish. It's the modern way to get legal help. For special savings, be sure to enter the code word ROGAN in the referral box at checkout. LegalZoom was developed by top attorneys to provide self-help services at your specific direction, but they're not a law firm. Legal help is furnished through vetted independent attorneys. And what that means is if you fuck up or if you think you're fucking up, they will connect you with a third-party independent attorney. LegalZoom, can't say enough good things about them. They also have an A, an A from the Better Business Bureau. That's fucking groovy, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you want. You want to hear A. You don't want to hear F, like Uber. Uber's got an F. That's not good. Fs are bad. As are awesome. <laughs> 
We're also brought to you by Blue Apron. Blue Apron is an excellent way for you to create your own wholesome, nutritious, and delicious meals uh, with without leaving your house. They deliver the package with all the ingredients, fresh foods, fresh spices, ingredients, things like rice and onions, potatoes and peppers and beef and all sorts of really yummy, delicious and cool recipes. Like this week, we have Mike Anthony's recipe, eggplants, chick, chicken thighs, cod with Parmesan crusted squash, spice rubbed pork medallions with peach salsa. Every week it's new. Really interesting, cool shit. Vegetarian options as well. Squarespace has a bunch of different really yummy, de delicious, nutritious meals that are super easy to do. They send you the food. They send you all the portions correctly measured out. All of it comes in a cooler. It's all got those ice bags in it, so it's nice and fresh. And they send you step-by-step -step instructions with photographs. You can't fuck it up. It's super easy to do. Cooking... And eating should be fun, ladies and gentlemen, but if you're busy and or health conscious, you don't know your way around a kitchen, cooking can be a pain in the dick, or the vagina, as it were. You don't need that pain if you have Blue Apron. Yummy f and delicious and nutritious. So what's on your menu this week, ladies and gentlemen? Fucking Blue Apron's on the menu, goddammit. Go to blueapron.com forward slash Rogan, and you will get two free meals for just going to Blue Apron dot com forward slash Rogan. I love it. I use it. I get it sent to my house every week. Short rib burgers on pretzel buns. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Kung Pao chicken tacos. That's right, bitch. That's what I said. Go get yourself two free meals by going to blueapron.com forward slash Rogan. Without further ado, the podcast guest that we have for today is a guy that when I was a kid... I was a huge fan of the band Kiss. And if you had told me that many years later, I would have a podcast. And then on that podcast, first of all, I wouldn't know what the fuck you were talking about. There was no podcast back then. But if you told me that I would have a quasi radio show on the internet, and on that radio show, I'd have Paul Stanley as a guest, I would have probably shit my pants and blacked out. Not necessarily in that order. Both of those things would have probably happened. But here he is today, the, the lead singer of one of my favorite all-time bands, the great Paul Stanley from KISS. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night, all day. And we're live. You don't have to wear headphones if you don't want. You're Paul Stanley. That's you right. Do, you do I whatever do what the I fuck, want. You, you do whatever the That's fuck right. you want. You want to take a shit on the floor over there? You feel free. Hey, you know, use your we'll imagination. You. If that's what turns you on. It's not, but I would accept it. I wouldn't even take photos of it. I wouldn't even tell anybody. I'm just putting Joe Rogan podcast. You, you put it out on Twitter? Yeah. Okay. You did it. Beautiful. Good. Okay. Right, we're live. Good. First of all, I just want to say thank you very much for being here. This, When I was a little kid, like, I've, I've been a fan of Kiss since, I can't remember when I wasn't. Like, I was a tiny little kid when I first found out about KISS. So to have you here in my podcast, I've been to many of your shows, both pre, when you wore makeup, mm -hmm. then when you got off of makeup, and then when you got back on makeup again. So I've been through the full spectrum. Solo, I had the solo albums. I was there, too. You were there for the I've, whole thing. I've been through the whole thing. <laughs> Every show you were at, I was at, That's too. what I hear. Yes. But that is a weird thing, though, that you, like, you guys, um, you broke up. We're not broke up, but you got rid of Chris and you got rid of Ace, mm -hmm. and then you brought in new guys, mm -hmm. and now you kind of have guys that play those roles. Is that how you're doing it now? I don't know that you you. Could, I mean, that that's a a tough one to answer. You know, I think where we went astray is when we started um, when we first replaced Peter, and we decided we needed a new character. And the problem with that kind of stuff is that it started to become interestingly i think disingenuous it, it 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 took on an air of fake in the sense that um it became a menagerie i mean we had a fox and a egyptian warrior next we would have <laughs> turtle boy and the frog the frog man so i think once we we brought ace and peter back for the reunion tour which um 
I hoped would go on forever. And in other words, I hoped that everybody would get back together. Um, everybody would see the, the, the uh, error in their ways and we would move forward and, and stay together forever. But when that wasn't to be, I thought, you know, we really built these four images and arguably you can go anywhere in the world and people know who Kiss is, regardless of whether they know who those people are. So to to give up that because we found that those guys were no longer either capable or wanted to give it 100%, well, that, who loses out? The fans. So, no. We, you know, those images are the images that will continue when I'm not here either. Yeah, that's so... Got to be a strange place to be where you and Gene are both these super focused, healthy, non-drug using guys. And then you have these two guys in your band that are integral parts of the band. You know, I mean, yeah. Beth was a huge hit. It was. And look, this this whole show could turn into denigrating the former members. But it, I don't want to do that. But honestly... Um, that song was the product of a great producer who had a big hand in writing it and a co-writer who Peter used on a lot of things that he supposedly wrote. So, um, But they were integral members of the band, and uh, it's very difficult to, to move forward when two of the people are like, at times, like flat tires. You're trying to, you're trying to move forward. Um, it becomes more of a problem when their um, re reason f reason for being is to foil and and to um, throw off track what you're trying to do. So at some point, it, it really became more about trying to um, disrupt what we were trying to do, with no regard to whether or not what they wanted to do was right or wrong. They just wanted let's screw. Gene and Paul. So we'll say no and they'll say yes. So it really became very, very, very difficult. So do you think they did that because, uh, I mean, did they, did they have a logical reason? Was it just because they were self-sabotaging anyway? I think, I th I think self-sabotaging comes into it because I think that's been a, a something that's run through parts of their lives. But I also think that there was um, a lot of resentment. And honestly, you know, you... I don't believe in resenting people for what they can do that you can't. If you're lucky enough to have people around you who can do what you can't, make them your best friend. Yeah. You know, I mean, learn. I learn. Yeah, learn. From learn. Them. And um, everybody can't be, you know, everybody can't be uh, the best at what they do, but you can benefit from being around those people. So, look, I, I, I never wanted or expected anybody in the band to do necessarily the same amount of work that I did, but I expected them to give 100%. Everybody's, you know, I was all for splitting things evenly uh, in the original lineup of the band up until, uh, you know, we, those guys departed the first time. But um, you have to give your best. When, when you say, like, resent, like, resent for what you what they can't do but they were great i mean peter chris was a fantastic drummer ace freely was a great guitarist but what would they resent other than your sobriety or your health i think focus and drive and perhaps, determination yeah determination and seeing the whole picture and and um wanting this to be as good as it could be as opposed to falling back on all oh, you know it's rock and roll. Well, rock and roll is no excuse for mediocrity. And rock and roll is no excuse for not doing your job. You know, if somebody says, oh, my playing is rock and roll. No, that's just bad. You know, there's <laughs> bad and then there's rock and roll. So, um, you know, look, it's a long time ago. And it's kind of like talking about a, a girlfriend or a wife you had a long time ago. Right, and, right. And trying to, to disseminate what went wrong. And at some point, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's always hard to deal with people that are in that sort of self-sabotaging mode. And you see it all the time. And the, One of the things that I always equate to is when you see people smoking cigarettes and they throw their cigarette on the ground and don't think anything of it. And 
it's it's a super common thing. It's very rare that you see people just throw trash on the ground in front of everybody. Oh, he, but people him. will throw cigarettes on the ground in front of anybody, and they're not they're because they're sabotaging their own body. They don't mind just th throwing stuff on the ground too. It's sort of the same kind of a mentality. 